Crunker.io, the king of all IO games. It has so many players, con creators, classes, weapons, features such as slide hopping, moon, and wall jumping, customization, skins, and mods. First of all, we need to understand how modding actually works. It's basically just replacing some files. Yeah, that's it. Some games require you to modify the game itself, which is sometimes pretty complicated. Some games have a game feature that supports modding, in our case the Crunker Mod Loader. Or for example the Minecraft Resource Pack Loader. So you put your skins, sounds and models which you wanna replace, drag it into Crunker and you're done. The cool part about Crunker is that it is a browser game which means that you can not only modify the skins with mods, but you can also modify the website, so the UI. This is called CSS editing because you're editing the file called main.css or main underscore custom.css. Every website has its own CSS. If you want to find out more about modding CSS or modding in general, check out Sictus videos in the description. Every weapon has its own file name, every skin has its own skin number. You can go to the website and download the mod.zip which contains every skin currently in the game. The thing you'll immediately notice with most of the skins is that they are very hardly compressed. The texture contains a lot of noise and it looks kinda ugly to me. Why would they do that? As I mentioned earlier, these textures are compressed to kilobytes, so this is done to save space and maybe make the game much better working on all the machines, but I think the first one is more accurate. The Scrunker uses links for customization, such as scopes, crosshairs, and also for mods. And you know what, I don't really blame them for doing so. But how does compression work? And how to get rid of it? Compression is a way to decrease the amount of space of an image. There are many ways and algorithms to obtain this, such as JPEG compression or feathering. To learn more about this, watch the videos from Codefile in the description down below. It's basically just reducing the amount of color and trying to recreate the missing shades of it with patterns. Crunker uses dithering to save space. Now that we know how compression works, how to get rid of it, first of all we need to remove the noise from the picture. The best way to do this is to use an AI scaling program, which includes a denoising algorithm. I prefer using Gigapixel. We just drag the texture into the program, save the image, make some extra non-AI denoising, and we're done. Yay! But wait. What is this? Well, AI is not perfect and it creates weird um, things on the edges, but we're just gonna fix this issue real quick by rescaling it down to the original ratio and it's unnoticeable. When you compare those two images, you can clearly see the details that were lost back again. Isn't that fascinating? And also, I've spent a lot of time researching and editing this video. So if you want to support me, you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. See you in the next one.